Hello guys, it is Futon here, and today we're going to be discussing on the how to do the Karamja Slayer Log. Um, this is going to be very difficult to understand and comprehend a little bit, um, but because the Tazar itself is very confusing. So we're just going to go right into the Slayer creature kills and go straight into the collection log, and we're going to open up Karamja. Uh, the main thing about the difficulty and the complexity here is all of the weapons here for the... Um, Tazar, and the Ring of Stone. Now, what makes it so complex is because certain things in the Tazar area drop certain items, certain NPCs drop certain items, and some items are different rates from certain things. Now, the real complexity about the Tazar here is that the Ring of Stone is a 1 in 5,000 drop from any Tazar, or Tokar, which is equivalent, that means a cauldron. So, Basically, what you need to do is you need to kill the normal Tazar until you get the Ring of Stone. Now, the thing about this Ring of Stone and Tazar, they do not obey normal aggro pot mechanics. They have a really weird roaming AI, and they are very difficult to kill with aggro pots in a proper manner. So, with this being said, the fastest way to do this is manual killing. Uh, Note, that's the reason why I have melee armor. Some, a scythe here and a laceration boots because we get the ability to blade a dive with a scythe with an AOE weapon. Now, note the fastest way to get to these areas and like start clearing is actually south of the fight caves. Right down here, you'll notice that there is a ton of things right down here, straight down, and you can go completely around in a circle. Now, note I want you to take into regards the other weapons. Um, they also have a complexity because only certain NPCs drop them. Um, so let's go back to the log here. So, right here, the mage weapon is only dropped by the majors. The ranger, the range weapons are dropped by the Azil here, which is the rangers, and meleeers. So as you see here, the item says Tok Medj Tau. The Medj means it's dropped by Medjes. So this one says Toket Exil Yil. Toket Exil Ak, Tazet Ekel Ek. And that means it's dropped by the Zil. Each one of these is dropped by Zils, which is the Rangers. Uh, Ket Ohm means it's dropped by the Melee. The Ket Zil means it's dropped by the Zil and the Ket, which is the Melee and the Ranger. And Obsidian Cape is dropped by everything. And note for another note of fact, is according to old school, this is a 1 in 4,000 drop rate. I have no confirmation, no one wants to confirm it, confirm it, but I actually got this out of the fight cauldron because I got the ring first. So basically, the real method to this is, is just overload, pot up. It's pretty, plain and simple. Um, as a note, you want to try to ignore these har. Uh, they do share the 1 in 5,000 drop rate, but as you see here, you literally just reset the bladed dive timer by killing things really, really, really quickly. And you just go through it and with a scythe, you just murder everything until you get the items you're looking for. So, like you see, the Zill could drop the Zill items. So, when you get everything that the melee has dropped, for example, then you move on to the Rangers, you stop killing them, and you just go around in this circle over and over until you kill everything until it drops an item. Um, note, if you're an Iron Man and looking for these items, you can buy them from a shop, but they will not count on the Slayer log. But, basically, this should keep you enough to keep you well occupied as going around and around. The respawn will stay normal. In fact, um, I was just doing the Zills and the, um, Meje, and, to, and I kept it up. The Rangers and the Mele or Majors. And I was able to keep up spawns. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, but again, just make sure you ignore the little ones, but you can just go around here, and it's probably the highest concentration of uh, majors you're going to find. But yep, here we go. Let's keep going around in circles until you effectively get the Ring of Stone. Um, no, you can't get this out of Flight Cauldron too, but it's still the fastest way to get it is here. And more than likely, you're going to get the Ring of Stone after or before the um, main staff. If you get the main staff first, you're pretty well off uh, because it is extremely rare. And I've only seen one other person with this log complete, and he's 
somehow, I think, did it all in the cauldron. Because he had a ton of weapons. But this is, like I said, this is really the only process. And this is also a very quick way of farming to call. So if you see in the, like, here, I've literally done, what, almost 10,000, 9,000 Tokar or Toko. And, um, yeah, sorry if I've mispronounced things as well. But well, that's really the gist of getting the Ring of Stone. And there's a good chance you can get quite a few weapons alongside of it. So, now with this being said, we're going to move on to the way to get the weapons, assuming you have the Ring of Stone next, which is going to be the Fight Cauldron. Okay. Okay, now that we're here at the fight uh, cauldron, uh, you're going to notice that um, we're inside and have a bank here. I highly suggest you do something on the lines of hybrid armor. Um, Max Cave probably is better here. I wonder if this works, something. Um, and the idea is, is you have to kill the different NPCs inside to get the different pieces. They drop at a much better rate. And this guy here, uh, no, you can call me a coward all you want. I really don't care. But again, it still follows the rules that the majors can drop the mage items, the rangers can drop the range items, and the um, meleeers drop that. But there is, oh, I don't have, that sucks, I don't have runes on me, but oh well, that doesn't really matter. Um, these little guys here drop nothing, um, and the bigger majors and the bigger rangers and meleeers also drop nothing. It is a very weird place in here. It literally goes by the name. Of what drops what. So again, only I keep things with mage it, drop the mage items, the exils, drop the exil, and again the um, toke uh, attack or whatever, drop attack items. Um, again, make sure you check the wiki as well for a guaranteed source of which drops what. But again, you have to literally kill everything in here anyway. It really doesn't matter. Um, spawns are a little slow, but it's like a one in a hundred from whatever spawns in here. It's very quick, and like, I sat here for like two hours, and literally got like 15, maybe 20 weapons total, and it's like, okay, cool. And it's just really nice. Uh, well, not 15, 20, but you get the point. A lot of them were dropping just range um, thrown items. But um, just to say, no, that's really the only way to do this. This can literally take forever um, if you go unlucky. I think I got pretty lucky on this log, but I'm not for sure entirely, but this is how I do it. Like this guy here, he does not drop anything we need, because there's no mage, no ket, or whatever. So, yeah, he literally drops nothing we need. But you still have to kill him to move on. And as a note, if you go in and out, it will just start respawning the same exact thing over and over again. So don't even bother trying to leave and then come back, leave, come back. It really does you no good at all. Um, note, you can also use obsidian armor here and nearly AFK it because you'll survive the pads. Like this guy here, I don't believe he drops anything even though Zil is in his name. But um, yeah, the bigger guys just have their own drop table, which kind of sucks. But again, like I said, I'm not even overloaded for this, but you get the point. So you literally just sit here and kill things as fast as you do until they drop what you need. There's also one other um, Tazar weapon that is dropped from here that was not in the Slayer log, question mark. I guess because it was only for Tokar. But still, um, yeah. This is really all there really is, a Fight Cauldron. These things do give a decent amount of XP per kill. I mean, it's not too bad XP per hour, but it's not nothing that's absolutely amazing either. But this is pretty much just the gist of everything for this log. If you guys have any further questions, please let me know. But it really is plain and simple. Make sure you guys double check the wiki if you guys have any questions at all as well. Because um, this is a very different type of log than everything else. Considering everything is basically done off task. And um, also there is no Slayer Souls for these either. So... Not really too much I can do say about that, other than uh, good luck, and hopefully you have better luck than I do. I'm kind of hoping to get an item or something really quick to show that these things can, in fact, drop everything. Um, okay, you do. Let's see here. Yeah, and some of these have a stupid high defense, too. It's like, you, you think the fight cauldron was bad. Oh, nice. I just about killed myself there with that. But yeah, um, and also anything else that drops here does not despawn. So weapons will just stay here permanently until you leave. 
and you'll literally start littering the floor with stuff. Also, you can walk out at any time and bank in between waves. So don't worry about this state in here forever. It really doesn't make that big of a difference. So anyway, um, that's it for the video. And hopefully this was at least a little bit helpful. Um, so I will see you guys for the next one.